Hello, welcome back to Modern Ace Basics. I'm PG Tai Botting. Today we'll be looking at parries and evades, continuing on from the last class where we talked about blocks. And just a reminder, we have a whole spectrum of what evade through some different motions to block, some other motions, and disarm. It covers the whole gamut of what you can do as defensive actions. So last time was blocking, today is going to be parrying and evading. So Pairing is sort of in between evade and block. It's an assisted miss, right? Where evade is, hey, uh, I'm making you miss me by my own motion. So if we look at some of those right now, if you're attacking me, right, I can, to fade and evade, I can certainly move backwards. Remember, I don't prefer that because you're just going to charge me, and you can move faster going forwards than I can move going back. So it's in your advantage. I don't want to do that. I want to, one, have you be committed and not willing to adjust. So sometimes the smallest motion can be really neat. If I don't take a step when you come in and strike and I just shift, that's okay going back because I want to be just to where you miss me. And if you're just where I miss me and then you extend, then you can hit them, right? I just fade and attack. I prefer though something where I'm stepping to the side so your target was there and if you now were to hit me, now you're further away. I like that because then if I twist, I get to hit you anyway. It doesn't matter if I'm going whatever side, right? I'm going to go slightly towards you, but more to the side. Then I can hit you while you miss me. If I time it really, really well, right about it here, I can step to the side and miss and have you miss and hit you. So positioning, timing, control that distance with your motion. All right, for parries, that's going to be an assisted miss. We covered some blocks last time, right? These roof blocks and these shield blocks. If I meet up and stop your attack, then that's a block. But if I let it go sliding down as I move, right? It slides down and I pass it and control it and follow up, then that becomes more of a parry. And that's really the key with parries, right? Parry is an assisted miss, and the other part of a parry is as soon as you know they're gonna miss you. So you protect yourself, you should be attacking them. That could be right while they're attacking you, or that can be uh, right as their attack starts going past you is a great time to attack them back, okay? So you came in to attack me, I faded, you missed, boom, and I hit you. Okay. Same thing here. Came in, attack, I hit you, and I follow up. Okay. As we work these parries and evades, uh, one of the things I want you to consider is that, yes, you kind of need two people to work these ideally. However, um, you can use what you know about how people move uh, to work your visualization. If I keep that in my mind, I, I can slow down in, in real time, whatever I want to do. Imagine your attack comes in, I can go, oh, okay, good, miss, oh, good. Okay, I can watch it come in and it's going to hit me and I just fade and miss. Because the other thing you can do then is position yourself on, on, a, on equipment so that you can decide that, hey, this is going to hit. If I'm this far away, it'll hit me. And then what you can do is when you step and you're that far away, wow, it can't hit you. Then you hit me. So you play with your tools. You can also set up a swinging thing. You can actually have a uh, pole mounted. The pole can be set up and you can practice it falling towards you and you're going to then block that as if it was a 12 strike. Whether you block it or whether you parry it. All right, so now we're looking at those things uh, two person. So for evade, remember, it's really just about the motion, but there's a couple things again that we want to look at. So if he comes in a forehand strike that's going to hit me, then all I have to do to evade is either step back, right, and it'll continue on through, which I don't want to do because he'll follow, or I can angle off and I hit. Okay? So the idea is that when you evade, the whole point of having to evade, when you're evading, you do a simultaneous attack. Same thing on the backhand strike, he goes the backhand strike down, I can fade, or I can go to the side, he goes again. Okay. So do a diagonal strike. Okay. So I fade and immediately attack him. So every time I evade, I want to do a subtle hazy attack. That's really the idea with evade. So we have, like I said, we have backwards, which I don't prefer because he'll come running, um, or, or sideways at an angle. And I just fade to the side, and I can still hit him. Okay by my twist. So with this simultaneous attacking, if we go back to what we did on ranges, so the other video on ranges talks about how you're going to get avoid getting hit and also position yourself into an attack. And so that's what we're talking for evades. If we think about parries, a parry is an assisted miss, right? So when I evade, he does another strike forehand. When I evade, he misses. I can have him do a 12 strike and I can help him miss, so while I'm moving, just in case he, he's going to follow me, I can help it to miss. So he does an overhead strike and I pass it. So slower, he goes slow, 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 I pass it and accept it and that winds me up at the same time and I still hit him. It's not a simultaneous attack, but my wind up is, 
is at the same time as his attack, okay? So again, he goes overhead, and I just go, and I have that extra hand to help, because once I pass it through, that gets it out of the way and I'm controlling it. So our live hand, what we lose for our live hand is manage, monitor, and delay. So I am monitoring him, managing it to the side, which will slow him down because he's all twisted up. Notice again, when he comes over, I turn him, right? Uh, from your point of view, if he does the other head, I can pass it to the other side. Boom. It doesn't really matter which side I pass it to. He comes overhead, and I just... Okay. So that's one of them. So that's this accepting block. Okay. If he does an overhand strike again, we have another one where it's deflection, kind of like a parry. So originally we had, if he comes straight overhead, I had this, I'm going to meet this with a shield block. If I make it an angle and pass it, now it's a parry. So your shield blocks and your roof blocks can also be parries if I pass and move. Okay. Um, along those same lines, if he does a low, hand, low strike to my knee, if it's coming in, what I can do is move it away and hit it down. So I've deflected it away. I didn't stop it, so it's not a block. It parries it down to the ground. See how it hit the ground? If it, if it hits the ground hard enough, you knock it out of their hand. So the downward strike, some, some styles call it a drop stick. It comes low, okay, and I pass it. And you'll still parry and follow up, okay? So that's another parry I'm smashing into the ground. We also have Professor's favorite, and it's his family art, was Polly's Polly's. So what I like to do is look at it in two ways. A basic way, where I'm going to stop and then pass it. That way you can practice it at a reasonable speed. Uh, and the advanced way, which you can either practice at a lower level by doing it real slow, or just get good and hope you're good and pass it. So let's have one where he's coming at the ribs. He comes at my ribs, I stop it, and then pass it. Okay. So the reason I'm stopping, again, is for basic. So at basic, he comes to the side. I, pull, I stop it, I pass it, boom, okay? And I follow up with an attack. If I were not to do that the way the professor would do it, he'd come in with a, a middle strike like that again, and I would just go pass and strike, okay? Whatever I'm gonna do to follow up. But the thing is, is my, what I was initially practicing a second ago with a stop and a pass becomes just a pass. But your timing has to be perfect. So you can either practice it slow, ka-ching, 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 ka -ching, pass, Control, stab, or take down, boom, or whatever you're going to do. Um, or you pack it fast, he does a five strike, and I stop it, and then I pass. Okay? Okay? Both ways are good to practice. I think you should practice both of them. Eventually, the idea is that when it comes in, I immediately comes in, boom. I am passing it away from me. And that goes high, too. If I goes up and he goes high, I pass it, and that's a lot like the other thing. If he comes at a, a flatter diagonal, I can stop and pass and strike, or I can just make sure it goes pass, okay? So if I take it in slow motion, he comes in, this passing is a lot like that, okay? So I'm just basically behind him. He has a backhand strike, and I pass it, okay? So we'll sometimes practice just that. It'll take a little range out, and he does some high strikes to the head, and he does a strike, strike, and I pass it. High strike, pass it. Strike, pass it. Okay, so then, boom. Now, now you get your polys polys in there. So that's the basic and advanced version of polys polys. Uh, lastly, we want to talk about parries for pokes. Now, pokes are interesting because you're not going to block a poke. What do I mean by that? If he pokes me, a block would be I'm stopping it. I'm not that good, okay? That would be stopping it. So remember, block is stopping something. If I knock it to the side, if he pokes, I knocked it to the side, that's not a block, that's a parry, because I'm making, helping it miss me. He's still doing the extension of his attack, but I'm helping it miss me. It takes one finger to make it miss. One finger to make it miss, and that's with his resisting. I don't need to waste my weapon so that when he cokes me with a six, I'm just going to block it and hit him, okay? I don't need to block with anything but my hand. Now, you can only do that, of course, if he has a stick. If he has a blade, and he does that same thing. I don't think I want to do that because he's going to then slash my fingers off or he's going to turn and rotate and slash through or whatever he's going to do. But if it's a stick and it's committed to a poke, then all I got to do is, is miss it. And then I can clip or whatever. If he pokes on this side, I can wrap my finger, block it, wrap my finger around it, hit the stick because really I'm practicing like I'm hitting his hands. That's what I want to do. So hit stick, push down, hit, and finish him off. Okay? So you can clip there. Clipping is just hooking around it. And we'll talk about that when we get to the next video because we're going to be talking about evade, block, and disarm. And in between evade and block is parry 
and in between lock and disarm is control. All right, so pokes, what do I do with pokes? And immediately what happens is every time he pokes, I block it with a hand, I mean, I parry it with a hand, and I attack simultaneously. One of my favorite things to do is if he pokes, poke him back, because I've got the range. Especially if he's coming with a, a side poke, a six or a seven. If he's coming with six or seven, I have the range for a nice penetrating straight up poke down the, the five line where there's high or low. Same thing on this side, he goes here and I poke, or I go right up underneath there, okay? Ideally what you have is an immediate attack, either simultaneous or right after it. So poke comes in again, I play right inside and hit, okay? If I could do it the other way, right? I parry to the side and hit. If that's simultaneous, if it's coming 12, I might be riding it and then hit it, okay? You can also make it simultaneous. If it comes in one, I can block it the other way, boom, and before I pass it, I hit. So that's abanico corto. Another whole thing. We'll probably do a whole section on abanico corto. So when you're parrying, take advantage of the fact that you're no longer behind. The problem with blocks is he hits me, I block. Now he's stopped, I'm stopped. He can reset, I can reset. We're basically back to square one, even though we're in both out, right? Boom. If I don't bandage and control him, I am losing it because as soon as I block it, he'll recoil and try to hit me again, and I'll have to block and block. So you're always behind the bar. But if I parry, he comes into the high strike and I pass it. Okay, now I'm ahead because I was riding his attack. Same thing comes into 12, 12, boom, and I ride his attack. Or it comes with a poke. Okay, and I do it simultaneous. So you get the idea. Parries, doing a parry, much better than a block, and also you should, your attack should be riding that. All right, thanks, hope you enjoyed. Um, the next video is going to be on controlling, right, in between blocking and disarming. So we'll do a look at controls. We might even get some disarm. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you next time.